What is going on everybody and welcome back to another short in the middle of the week. Um, trying to get better at doing some of these shorts and today we have an interesting little build. It's a project. The last time me and Chris were out we were at Locust Fork and we brought back a bass and we put it in this little mesh container that's really meant for like trout. Um, you could not paddle whatsoever once you got a bass in the thing and you were dragging it behind you. You just, you just couldn't. The kayaks wouldn't go anywhere. So we decided we were gonna build something that would float on its own. We could just leave um, basically like a live well, but it's open. It's just gonna be a PVC box with mesh around it um, that floats so we can catch fish, put them in it, let it float around, paddle to it when we catch a fish. So we can keep bringing these fish back to the pond, but not hamper the speed that we like to fish at. But we've got some mesh right there. We've got a bunch of PVC. We've got some connectors in that bag. There's some dead on plastic liquid. That box is empty just so we can make more baits. But we got some connectors in that bag. We've got the tubes, the, the pool noodles that's gonna go around some of the PVC so it floats at all times. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, get to cracking. gonna go ahead and get building um, I may be in a different shirt the next time you see me or in the middle of the video because it's gonna it may take a couple days to build not that it takes a long time to build but it's a weeknight and I want to spend time with my wife so I may start you know dabble with it um, I just need it by this weekend for the next time we go fishing so let's do this So, I'm envisioning a box that would be, we may go a little longer on top, maybe like two foot three by two foot by two foot. So, two foot uh, back to front width is going to be two foot three and height is going to be two foot. So, this is going to be a little bit oblong. We're gonna strap these on the outside so it'll float. I've got some poultry fence um, that's plastic that we're gonna use as the netting. And we're gonna to get to cutting this PVC real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and start measuring this stuff out. And I'm gonna start off with my two foot threes. And um, and we'll go from there. We're at least gonna get the frame done tonight. So that's that's the goal for today is do the frame. Bring it back, or don't. Don't eat it. You're gonna try to eat it, aren't you? You ain't very bright, don't run away with it. Ruby, it's not a game. It's not a game. Gosh, she thinks it's a game. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have gave it to her. This is my fault. She's having a hard time picking it up though. Uh, 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 uh. It's a fun game. God, I gotta cut grass. draw this out so I know how many T's I need let's do that all right this is what we're gonna do all right here's the top of the cage we're gonna need a beam going across here and a beam going across there and I'm going to have a T right here and I'm gonna overlap that So I'm going to need a T, a T, 
a T, a T, a T, and a T. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six T's. And I'm gonna use a 90 right here and a 90 right here with one pipe going across. I'm gonna have a little eye bolt right there or, and a uh, little hook right there. We're gonna have bungee those two pieces right there. So this is actually gonna open and close. I'm actually gonna need another T right through here. So we're gonna run a vertical one right here and right here. So that would be a T, two, three, four. So I actually need 10. The reason I want that is so I can wrap the netting right here and it won't be flush. You'll have something to attach to. So I need that post for the netting to attach on the top. So I can net from here to here, from there to there. I'm gonna net from this inner one out to here on both sides. And I'm gonna net from here to here, just like up top. This middle part will be netted as well. Um, and there's gonna be a T right here where I can lift up, open and close. So I will, uh, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. That's a plan. It's hard to visualize this without drawing it down and circling how many T's you need. I was just spitballing at the store and uh, yeah, that didn't work out too well. All right, so let's go back outside. So we're back. It's day two, and I've got more supplies. Still sticking to this drawing right here. So I've got 10 T's. I think I know what I need to do. This one needs to be a straight bar, the one at the bottom, this guy down here. So we're gonna start there. I think I'm also going to shorten it, because it seems a little high. You know, it's two foot by two foot. Is that right? Two foot by two foot but this one's like two foot three inches. So I think I'm gonna shorten the height though, uh, maybe three or four inches lower because it's just a little bit too tall. And uh, we're gonna make these little, well, we're gonna make these little cross members. So that's what we're gonna do right now. fish in there and bungee it okay well then let's get to uh, PVC welding welding this thing shut all right so we're going with the old blue it should be pretty obvious what we've done every piece except for these two joints is welded I can dig that. Now for the fun part. To knit the damn thing.
There you go. There's your fish holder. All right, everybody. So there you go. That's it. I'm sure my hair looks wonderful. There she is. She's got some floats on the top, so she'll sit on the top of the water. We've got our nice little latch, which hopefully y'all saw me make. Put an eyelet right there, a little hook right there in the water. We'll lift that up. It's the only two joints right in there that are not cemented together. Drop the fish in. It's got plenty of room in there. Pull that closed. Latch it back. Voila. So this is what we're going to use. It's pretty lightweight. Um, the only other thing I'm going to do that I'm probably not going to do on video is I'm going to drill some holes right in these corners um, on each corner just so it'll fill up with water. I don't want the whole thing floating. I want this thing to sit in the water and just be floating by these guys. So I'm going to drill some holes to let some water in. Um, yeah, and I'll do that now. And then I got to get ready because I'm going fishing in the morning. It's about 11 o'clock, so I've got to be, I think Chris is picking me up at 5.30. Whew. So yeah, I gotta get to bed. I gotta take a shower and I gotta get to bed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Maybe this has inspired you guys to do something like this. Um, if you're kayak fishermen um, and you don't want the fish to die if you're trying to transport them, but you can't carry them behind the kayak, we're gonna start throwing them in this thing and just letting it float. Um, and we'll come back to it. It's got uh, The reason I picked those lime green um, pool noodles is so we could spot it and it could be easily spotted it's not just sitting in the water with nothing on it um yeah so there you go and i'm tired i am really tired and i've got to be up early so i'm going to get out of here i hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for the view and uh we'll catch you on the next one see ya